So in this video, I want to explain to you why being in the middle always wins and why being at the extremes is always the wrong decision. So think of people who are into politics, for example. What do you usually have in politics? That's right, left and right. If the guy on the left hears something from the right, the right has to be wrong because if the right is right, then the left is wrong. The guy on the right uh, believes that the left is wrong because if the left is uh, right on anything, that means that he's wrong. So people come from these mentalities where it could only be one way. And the thing is, there's this uh, line in the Bhagavad Gita, or I'm probably misspelling it, but uh, it's this fam most famous and sacred Hindu text in the world where uh, Arjuna, the, the, the goddess, uh, tells uh, there's this guy called Kri Arjuna, no, there's, there's the goddess called Krishna, and she, so if you, by the way, if you see people who are like Krishna followers, uh, they're, they, they uh, were created by this book. Um, so she, she tells this warrior called uh, Arjuna, who's supposed to be in this big war against his family and it's like really dramatic shit for him. He asks her like, what should I do? Should I fight? Should I not fight? And she says, look, those who fight uh, will lose the same way uh, that those who don't fight will. And that's paraphrasing. But the idea is that it doesn't matter which side you take. When you take a side, you're wrong. Now, what am I saying? Like, be a neutral bitch? Like, just don't think anything about anything? No. I'm saying, be the sage, be the smart person, the guru, that realize that, realizes that both sides are correct. I just had this discussion with my best friend, who kind of really is into uh, the law of attraction, your state of consciousness, uh, you know, what you think, what you feel, that's what's going to be. Uh, positive thinking, stuff like that, you know, and he's really into that. And the intuition that I got from him was that he was so into it that he was more like he believed it's more important than taking action. Like, no, just being the right state of mind and the action will come. It's all about the state of mind. And I explained to him, look, because um, I wanted to protect him never ever take one side because what happens when you take that side and I present you with evidence for uh, this side you have to reject my evidence but the only person who's getting hurt is you because you know uh, knowledge about taking action and knowledge about sub subconscious mind they're both tools that you can use uh, in your journey so rejecting them is, is, is dumb it, it's because maybe you don't you know you want to stay exclusive with one thing or something like that but what all, the only thing that's going to happen is that you're gonna it's going to work probably for a while until you hit a situation that requires the other thing and now it doesn't work anymore it's like you're, you're part of the right you believe you know in uh, carrying guns and all that but maybe there's something about the right that you don't agree with but because um you're part of the right, you have to believe everything. So something from the left, which actually makes sense to you, you're like, no, 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 I can't use that. No, I have to reject it. And then you're gonna get fucked up. So uh, my example for this was, again, when I lived in, in that big villa and had uh, like 10 employees, I was, in, I was fucking into it. Like I had full belief and I, I've basically rode that horse for a long time. I've been uh, so massively successful just because of uh, that positive belief that you know, if I just believe it, if I just trust in my abundance, then I'll have everything I want. And um, and suddenly I've had this, you know, nasty intuition like, hey, dude, this is not a good idea. You know, when I was already into it and in the process, like, it's not a good idea. I should fire the people here and just kind of call quits on it. You're going to lose, you know, probably $20,000, but it's not such a big deal considering, you know, what could happen. And what happened, again, this was a very strong intuition that told me from the bottom of my heart, like something is wrong. But because I believed so much in the power of the subconscious mind, I was like, no, 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 this is negative thinking. And I mustn't doubt myself. Uh, you know, we're in, honestly, it was just uh, really just my instincts telling me like, dude, this is a bad call. 
you know they they didn't say that at the start but now they do so you need to respect that so the smart thing it would be again to kind of quit in the middle not lose too much uh save face and uh be able to go on but i pushed it all the way i spent like a month and a half there and really went all out so i ended up losing uh, a lot more I ended up losing uh how much is it in in dollars it was probably around eighty thousand dollars in in a month <laughs> even more uh, more around a hundred thousand in a month and um and you go through traumatic like horrible experiences and uh this shit you know uh, even to this day i still have to deal with some of it uh because i made a bad call because again i pushed down that idea of like hey i need to focus on uh, the positive thinking, the positive thinking, when actually the right tool would be the action part. Like, hey, like, either take, you know, freakish, psychotic amount of level of, of actions to fix it or back off, fight or flight. Uh, I try to shove down the positive thinking, but when your intuition is wrong like that, you're not going to be able to positively think. Or, for example, the opposite side is like your intuition might be going, yeah, go for it. You know, when you see a girl you like or a guy you like or, you know, that that opportunity, that business meeting. And because you're not in the right headspace, you're not going to go for it. When if you just went for it without feeling it, you'd actually uh, kind of start taking action. And then once you start it, you're going to feel it and then it's going to work. So the message for this video is like, don't be extreme because the extreme people, anybody who chooses a side, uh, immediately lost the smart people are in the middle and the reason that people on the extremes lose is because they basically choose to disregard another part of reality so they basically have it's not that they somehow won by specializing is that they have uh, they basically don't want to see that part of reality and then they don't have that tool to use you know and so when people say oh this guy is this politician you know Donald Trump he's uh, the best guy ever wrong he's not when they say he's the worst guy ever, again, wrong, he's not. And if you think he is either one and that pisses you off, like, fuck off. I don't want somebody like you on my uh, channel. Uh, he's in the middle. He's just a guy. He has good qualities. He has bad qualities. Same with Hillary. Is she amazing? No. Is she horrible? No. She's a woman. She has good qualities. She has bad qualities. Anytime you pick the extreme side, you're wrong. You're automatically wrong because life is multifaceted. There's too many angles to to just choose one so and i'm not again i'm not saying i'm not, I'm not going to pick a side i'm saying everybody's right and i'm going to use all the opinions to my advantage so whenever you're into that situation in life again use this philosophy learn it uh that's how you also avoid arguments because when somebody else tells you oh i'm right this is the way it is you could just say yeah you're right and he is right, and you're right, and who cares? And because somebody else is right, doesn't mean that your life is gonna change or that, you know, somebody could say, hey, you're an idiot. You're right, <laughs> you should change. You're right. So are you gonna? No, nope. but you're right. See, done. Uh, so yeah, be everything, be, be, accept everything, use everything, and you're gonna be the most versatile, capable, happy, and successful person you know. Like me, share, subscribe, and contact me if you want coaching. Bye-bye.